We're speaking with Marielle Zagunis. She's a two-time Olympic fencer. What brings you to Boston this weekend? Uh, I'm here in Boston this weekend to compete in a Grand Prix, which is an international competition, and it's an Olympic qualifier for Rio next summer. What are some of the misconceptions about fencing? Because somebody like me on the outside, I, when I think fencing, I think of Douglas Fairbanks, the old silent pictures, and Errol Flynn, and those swashbuckler movies. Um, well, if you compare it to something like that, uh, we aren't jumping on tables and swinging from chandeliers. That's one, I guess, I don't know if people think that we do that, but we don't. We have very strict boundaries and rules that we have to follow. Um, and then I guess the other biggest misconception is that it's easy. I think, you know, people see um, us and we're covered from head to toe, so you can't really uh, see our athleticism. You know, you can see the dynamic movements on the strip, but you don't really understand how difficult it is and how much of an athlete you have to be to be a top fencer. Cut you to your head. I can cut you to your side, or I can cut you to your chest, right? And that's going to be blocked by uh, uh, Perry's five, three, and four. You don't actually use your shoulder. Everything is, is forward, um, and you're actually trying not to use your shoulder because that takes time. Because, I mean, a lot of times in the movies, you see people, like, fighting like this and bringing their arms back and really trying to cut, but... You know, if I start coming at you like this, and this goes to anyone who finds himself in a sword fight, if, you, if somebody comes at you with their arm over their head, what's the easiest way to, to beat that? You're not going to try to block it, you're just right. going to hit me, because that's a lot faster and a lot quicker.